Hey beauty, so in this video I'm going to do an inspired look, inspired by the one and only Rihanna. So if you like to see how I did this, continue watching. Okay, to start things off, what I'm doing now is just brushing my brow hairs in one direction to get them tamed and just to see where I'm going to do my outline. Now I'm doing my outline with my BH Cosmetics brow pencil and because Rihanna has more of a subtle arch, I'm just going to go ahead and try to um, achieve her brow look. Now with my MAC brow gel, I'm just filling in my brows to kind of give me a little bit more of a more realistic look. And I'm just filling at the ends and once I get closer to the top of my brow, I'm just lightly brushing some of the product on there. That way it won't look too opaque. And because if you see, Rihanna has more of a rounded brow, not too much of a square brow. So here I'm just kind of doing a round shape um, at the beginning of my brow to kind of make it look like it's hers. Next I'm just blending my product out to make sure it's evenly distributed throughout my brow. Next with my concealer, I'm just concealing the bottom of my brow to make it look more sculpted. And I'm also highlighting the top of my brow to kind of clean things up. Now with the flat brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out that concealer from the bottom and the top of my brow. And when blending, you just want to make sure that you're blending it outwards into your forehead and into your um, eyelid. I'm now applying my NYX eyeshadow base to my eyelid. When applying this to your lid, just remember that you want to apply a thin layer because you just want something for your eyeshadow to stick to. I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line as well. Now going into my Beige Cosmetics Neutral Palette, I'm taking this burnt orange color and I'm using my Delium 2 785 brush and I'm applying this to um, my lid above my crease and I'm just going to blend this in until I feel like it's even. Now I'm using the color Star Treatment in my Buxom palette and I'm just using a regular tapered brush and I'm just going to apply this right under the first color. I'm applying this more um, directly into my crease to kind of create a more gradient effect. With my flat brush I'm taking a plain black shadow and I'm just going to apply this into my crease to kind of define it a little bit more. my tapered brush I'm just going to blend everything out to make sure that it's even and it's perfectly blended to how I want it to be. After applying some more of my eyeshadow base to my lid, I'm just going to go ahead and take the color Silk Sheets from my Buxom palette and I'm just going to pat that color onto where I just applied that eyeshadow base. Now here you're just going to see me go back and forth with the same colors that I've used. Um, I'm just trying to achieve the perfect look and try to get it as close to Rihanna's um, eyeshadow look that I can. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a neutral color from my BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm just applying this to underneath my brow bone to kind of highlight that area. Next with my MAC Fluid Line Gel Eyeliner in the color Black Track, I'm just using an angled eye brush to apply this. Um, just make sure you're applying this in small strokes to get an even line. For my foundation, I'm applying my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Tahoe. And to apply this, I'm just using my Beauty Blender um, spritzed with a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus. Mm -hmm. 
When applying your foundation, you just want to make sure that you're applying it in a thin layer. You don't want to do anything too heavy because you can always build to um, a more full coverage. With the same beauty blender, I'm just applying my Kat Von D Lock It In Tattoo Concealer and I'm just applying this under my eyes, to the bridge of my nose, my upper lip, the bottom of my lip, and my forehead. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend this all out until um, it's evenly spread out. With a small fluffy brush and some pressed powder, I'm just applying this to the areas where I applied my concealer so I can let it bake. While that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and use my LA Girl Pro Concealer. and I'm going to start my contouring. I'm applying this to my jawbone and my temples. And once that's done, I'm going to start blending that out. a different beauty blender um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending my contour out and you just want to blend this out until you don't see any harsh lines you want to make sure that everything is even I'm just applying some pressed powder to my jawbone to bake also. Here I'm just applying some dark shadow under my uh, lash line to kind of make my eye stand out a little bit more. With a fluffy brush with nothing on it, you just want to go ahead and kind of dust all that powder off that you put on your face and kind of blend everything together. That way um, everything would look like one it won't look like all these different colors on your face with a fluffy brush and some dark powder um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this over the parts that I contoured with my cream concealer Now I'm just applying my lashes. Um, here the kind of lashes that I'm using is just some natural wispy lashes that I bought from tmart.com. I'll link that down below. Um, and you just want to take your time with this because you want to make sure that it's on there perfectly. With my MAC eyeliner, I'm just taking my liner brush and kind of just touching things up and just um, covering where I put my lashes. With an angled fluffy brush, I'm just using my Sonia Kashuk Chic Illuminosity Highlighter Duo and I'm applying the highlighter part to my uh, cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, the top of my lip, the bottom of my lip, and to my forehead to kind of um, make these areas stand out a little bit more. To contour my nose, I'm using my Delium Tool 769 brush and I'm using my MAC Matte Bronze Powder. And I'm just going to contour the sides of my nose, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose going horizontally. And um, I'm just going to blend this upwards towards my lid. And then I'm going to apply this to my nose area above my lip. And I'm just going to apply it to the bottom of my lip. Go 
going back in with my Sonia Kashuk um, bronzer highlighter duo, I'm just applying this bronzer powder to the temples of my forehead and to the perimeter of my face to kind and sculpt my face out. To complete my look, I'm applying my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara to my top lashes. Um, I didn't show me applying my lip colors because I didn't have the exact lip color that Rihanna has but it took me a while to kind of find something similar so I didn't show that here but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again see ya